Okay, in this video, we're going to examine how to measure an arc length given certain pieces of information in the circle, okay? Given particularly the radius and given the measure of degrees of an arc. So, let's get started. Um, what do we need to know about the relationship between arc lengths and circumference and uh, radius and that sort of thing? Well, we know that the length around a circle, the circumference of a circle, if you will, is equal to 2 times pi times r. And that will give us the distance around a circle. We also know that a circle, in terms of degrees, is 360 degrees all the way around. So what we can probably do here is compare the proportions between the degrees and the lengths and the, the length of the circumference. All right, let me just write all this down here real quickly. Circumference of a circle. And what we'll do, uh, let me see, let's call this the number of degrees proportions. And that's going to be our strategy, okay? So let's see what we can come up with. Well, what we know is that this particular arc is 135 degrees, okay? Step one. Out of 360 degrees, which is the total distance around, the circumference, rather, around a circle. We also know that the whole circumference in terms of length is 2 pi r. So let's just go off to the side here and say that the length of the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times 7, which is 14 pi, right? Now I'm just going to leave the answer in terms of pi. If you want to multiply it, pi um, 3.14 or 22 over 7, you're, you're perfectly uh, uh, welcome to do that. It just really depends on what the teacher is looking for. So in this case, we know that the whole distance around, the 360, if you will, is 14 pi. Okay? And this is the length that we're trying to come up with. So we're going to say the measure of the arc. In this case, it's arc AB. Okay? And we'll just write it like this with the appropriate symbol. Okay? All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and multiply. We know that we can do cross products. Or we can just multiply this side by 14 over pi, divided by 360, and we'll come up with the measure. So we'll say 14 pi times 135 degrees divided by 360 degrees. Degrees will cancel in both. Uh, let me get my calculator. And I can come up with... Let me just put this here. There we go. I know that 14 times 135 is equal to 1,890. I don't know if you can quite see that. 890 pi. And we're going to divide that by 360 divided by 360, and we get 5.25 pi, and that's going to be the measure of the arc AB. Measure arc AB, measure arc AB. And that's my last step. Now again, I'm just going to leave it in terms of pi. But you're welcome to, like I said, convert pi to 3.14 or 22 over 7. Okay, hope that was helpful.